Hello and welcome guys, Pedgwin here, and today we are playing part 3 of the Raid of the Sky Temple. All the downloads and stuff are down in the description. This is about where I left off, so let's have a nice little read of this. Cunningly, you've made it across the chasm of lava, but it's disturbing. But a disturbing sound is coming from the ways deeper into the next room. Screams of laughter? Could it be Professor Chollington? Confused, you feel unease. You make your way up to the large golden steps in front of you, not knowing what you will, what will come next. Okay, last time I was all like running through because I was trying to find a little bed, and I kind of missed every sign, and then just died horribly. Professor Jellington, still alive, lad? Well, it's a shame, a damn shame. Perhaps we'll de I'll deal with you later, but for now, behold the power of the ancients. This statue holds a key to which I have been searching for. However, in such competitive world, I'm afraid there's only room for one a new king of the Sky Temple, and its power will be all mine. Soon or Terraria will bend to my will. Crazed and bloodthirsty, Jellington quickly scales the jungle vines directly above you. Quick, after him. Where is he? Look at that creeper statue. It's amazing. It's got a chest inside, which I'm going to try and salvage before going straight up. Ow. It appears Professor Johnson is trying to dig a hole under the bottom of the right leg of the statue. Pulling two and two together you think it might be poss just possible to wedge an explosive in, in the statue's leg where Jellington has broken through. Though violence is not really your thing, no one calls you fat and gets away with it. <laughs> if the professor, uh, if the professor's going down, he's going down with a bang. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, but where the hell is my TNT? I'm lagging when pressing escape. Uh, that's a very nice statue you have there, Professor. Be a shame if something would happen to it. Okay, I need to find the TNT. <laughs> Uh, can I not get back up? Hey, I can. Oh. Uh, where is this chest? Assuming there's a chest. Seems to be a way up there. I don't seem to have any explosives. Am I doing it wrong? Uh, where are these explosions? Like TNT or whatever. I think I'm doing it wrong. Oh well, we can all pretend I'm exploding something. <laughs> boom, bow, boom. Wow, that was fun. After a very unsettling... Oh, after a very upsetting end to the crazed Professor Jollington, you realise a large hole was made under the statue and climb inside. A chest with grappling hooks made of jungle vines lie inside, and remembering a small passageway other than unreachable at the top of this temple room. You feel you know what to do next. You continue on this horrid relic of this power. It hopes to destroy it before the into the wrong hands. I read that terribly. And there's four whips just in case you want to play four player. Woo! One of the. Oh my god! Where did all these bastards come from? Jesus Christ! I, oh my god, that's crazy! Oh my god! Oh my god! Go away! Die! Jesus Christ. Where did they come from? There we are. Sleepy sleepy. Let's check the time of this video so far. Okay guys, we've got about another nine minutes left, so let's try not get killed by harpies violently. After yet another rest, you carry on down the oddly glowing corridor and you notice in the centre of the room that awaits another chest. 
for the taking. Yahoo! A horrible splashy sound comes from below the water. Why did it have to be water? Luckily for you, however, a nice pair of flippers greets you from inside the chest. You have a feeling you're going to need these if you want to find the end of this diamond, tem diamond temple once and for all. Yippee! Flippers! Oh my god, I didn't mean to see that. Uh, guess I won't need, need that. Gold bow, awesome. Some jester arrows, super OP. Oh! There is no potions like it. Oh, oh, it's just madness. For some reason, I'm not getting injured from the owl. Maybe I am. Oh, oh damn it. Oh, oh, oh. No, I forgot about my breath and there was an air pod. Damn it. Ah, god dang it. What? Ow, my face. God damn it. Oh god, I need to get these quickly. Diamond. Sapphire. Ruby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I knew it was a trap all along. Even though I didn't even die from losing breath, I lied from sitting on that trap. But Oh god damn it, I thought I could stand on that. It looks... Well, I was going to die anyway. It was never till now. Oh my god, fucking lag, mate. Oh, god damn it. No, 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 no. No! I was... Oh, god damn it. God... Come on, 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 come on. Yeah! You gasp for air as you resurface from the water. What the hell was the ancients thinking? This temple is absolute madness, but just as you temper boils, your attention changes on to focus on a large green stu structure that looms in front of you. What earth could it be? Perhaps you should investigate before continuing on down what seems to be an endless hallway. Woohoo! It appears to be a hole leading up inside a large green structure though. You're not sure how safe it may be taking any path forward down an ominous passageway. It seems- Oh my fucking god! Jesus Christ, did you see? Oh, well, I guess I'm going up here now, so, so I can end the episode in peace. Jesus Christ, let's see if I can speed up that, that stuff and see if I can make the episode a bit longer. Jesus Christ, that fripped me to death. Hey guys, we're back. And I've done some terrible editing, and now... Shit, look at all those hoppies. I've got about five minutes left of the episode, which is awesome, so let's have a nice read. Find a comfortable bed inside the very large structure's eye. Where? Oh, it's a creeper head. After everything you've been through so far, you decide to take a well-deserved rest. You have a feeling you're going to need your energy for the trials ahead. You also notice a chest filled with some weapons and potions to restore your health. You find it would be rather selfish to take it all for yourself and split the spoils among your travelling companions evenly after sharing after all sharing is caring uh i guess i'll take eight just to be fair <laughs> even though i'm not playing this with anyone <laughs> i guess it wasn't meant for me to take it all anyway uh what this is pretty good stuff finally i've got some some uh, potions as well because I've been dying so much and it's been horrible. Let's check what's over here, shall we? These are some very nice shades you have there. Do it away, you stupid harpies! God damn it, they're well annoying, seriously. Okay, what was I, re oh, I was reading this one and then I got attacked by a harpy. Um, you climb inside and have an investigate, okay. A warning is written on in in blood. Okay, thieves be warned. Turn black back now. Through the sign, though the sign is ominous, warnings have stopped you in the past. Haven't. All oh, right. Okay. And this one won't either. The passageway ahead seems long, but you must find and destroy the, the crown of the Sky King. You must protect the world. Okay. Uh, you continue down the seemingly infinite hole. Damn it. I don't like infinite holes. Heed my warning and turn back or suffer a horrible fate. You hear a, s a sound off in the distance. You're not alone. 
And we're going to have an epic boss battle. Oh, another sign. Those who disobey the Sky King shall meet the beast. The beast? This doesn't sound good. You hear a growl coming from further down the passage. You, you aren't sure you're prepared for what's come. You, but you can continue despite this. You can't believe your eyes. Before you stand, before you stands an ominous cavern inside the temple. But upon entering, you suddenly feel weak. You feel as if all the happiness has been sucked from your body. You know this feeling. You felt it only once before. Only an extremely dark energy could cause such a deathly feeling. Everstone. It's the worm. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm so annoyed. Why do I have to ruin everything? Jesus Christ. I'm so bad at this. God damn it. Ah, I ruin everything. Sorry guys. <laughs> okay, let's not try and jump to our deaths this time. We let's see what boss I'm gonna face. The presence of the Eberstone bears down upon you like the weight of a thousand pounds. Familiar twitching sounds can be heard echoing through the damp cab caverns, and the only way out seems to be a small door made of dark material. How on earth will you find the materials to make a demonite pickaxe here? As if straight from the bad nightmare, a small grey bone appears inside the chest right below your. Right before your very eyes. Eep. Eep. Uh, I guess I have to do this horrible boss. Uh, phew, this looks like a weird battling arena. Uh, phew. what's this sign say? You feel you might be able to u make good use of this furnace and anvil found in a small ch gold chamber. Well, I guess we'll do the uh, boss battle next episode because I don't think we have enough time. <laughs> but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Pedgwin, out. <laughs>